Hey guys, we just got our first box from NGC uh, UPS. We are we sent some coins down to find out if they are legit. Uh, we did have a penny that I thought was worth about six hundred dollars. We'll we'll find out. I don't know. Everybody's telling me they think that the penny is probably a fake. So we're gonna holy cow! They don't mess around with these boxes. So I'm gonna try to get into the box and then we'll see what we have. Let me show you how to do it. Uh-huh. It doesn't know. matter. It's just like No, the cut around it. Oh, I see what they did. Tricky, tricky. It's like, you know, like put a snicky snicky. Snicky snicky. Box in a box so that nobody knows what it is. They're so smart. But I'm really anxious to see Don't cut if yourself. what we have is legit. Don't cut yourself. I won't. Smile. Nice. We'll see if I'm going to smile. Okay. Do them one at a time. All right. This is an 1882 CC Morgan Dollar, which is Carson City. Uh, graded very good eight, which is good. I'll take that. That's one. Next is an 1884 Carson City MS62, which is even better. My concern with this one, if you take a look at it, is it's very, very shiny. And what I was afraid of was that maybe somebody cleaned this. Um, but if it had been cleaned, if there's any indication of it being cleaned, they would have let me know. So very, very good. So no residue. Good. No residue. Hold on. All right. I'm doing thumbs up. Uh oh. Okay. What? Uh oh. I got good and bad. My biggie, which was the 1909 SVDB, is marked clean. So it's legitimate. It's a real VDB, but someone has cleaned it at some point. Which Never, kills please, it. please don't clean your coins. Please, please don't do that. So um, it, of course, takes away from the value, but it is not a fake, which is one of the things I was worried about. I wanted to make sure it wasn't a fake. Right, so it's value. not a fake, uh, but what they do is they consider it a details coin, which means there's something wrong with it. And what's wrong with it is that it was clean. So this was my biggie. This was the one I was looking for. Uh, we have a 1931S. Um, that's in there. No problems with that. F15BN on that one. And then we have a 1914 d That's also details just marked. Um, actually... OBV scratched obverse, which I'm going to have to look that up. I'm not quite sure what that means. But so not exactly what I was looking for, unfortunately. Um, some good news, some bad news, but it's first time we ever did that. It worked out really well. Uh, of course, it's a little expensive, but uh, if I would have put it up on eBay or somewhere else to try to sell it and then it came back to us, it would have gone against our reputation. I wanted to make sure legitimately I knew what I had here. So I'll let you know where we go from here.